Now you got me started. Thank you. 
So what I learned from that is if I was a DJ, they would have fired me. Because you can't, <laughs> you can't go from, from hard, hard, heavy fucking metal to fucking new wave music, you know? But that's what I, you know what I love about my podcast, dude? Is that I play everybody. And Zeke from Skylight Motion Picture, we had an episode on the podcast. He's just a super cool dude, man. And, and I know him. And I, I don't know uh, Wonkzilla, but I'll tell you one thing about him is he comments and likes a lot of my stuff. And so I appreciate that from him. Uh-huh. So both these bands, you know, I went from like, I was like, after I, after I wind up playing Skylight Motion Picture, I was like, well, I probably should have waited a few seconds to make a little pause there. <laughs> but it's too late now and I'm not going to do it later. So whatever. Hey. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> you st- yeah, you stumped me on that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I think I'm never going to be a DJ anyways. But you know what? That's what we're trying to do. I mean, uh, so far tonight, you've heard all kinds of different style of uh, music. Well, that's the greatest thing because that's actually like uh, how a local music scene is anyways, right? Like no matter what city you're from, you usually end up playing shows with – Somebody who's not necessarily uh, in your genre. Yeah, and that's why I thought it was cool to do this battle of the bands. And just I want to play every band that sent me their stuff. Because every band wants to get the name out there. They want to be heard. And this is the platform to do it on. You know, I, I'm a little particular sometimes about uh, certain things that I do. But uh, tonight is uh, this whole three series, this three episode series. Is if you send me your music and then you want it to be heard on the battle of the bands. I'm going to play it because who am I to fucking say no on a battle of the bands? You want to do your fucking shit? You fucking do it. And you know what? Zeke, Zeke he, uh, sent me a message on Facebook. Are you doing like certain type of genre or everything? And I'm like, I'm doing everything, brother. And I would gladly play Skylight Motion Picture on the podcast. You know, gladly. And so that's what we, and, and I'm happy that we are able to do that. And I'm happy to show people that maybe have never heard of the podcast before Take a listen to different genres that we play. I'm not trying to stick with one thing. You know, we play, we had Malcontent on the podcast. And we're going to guys have you guys again on the podcast, uh, you know, whenever we can. <laughs> <laughs> whenever, whenever we're allowed to, to talk hey. about the secret release. No, no, it's not a secret. It's, it's coming. It's I'm going to open up a beer to uh, that real quick. I got to drink a beer, man. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we've been working really hard. We've been we've been writing our asses off, and we feel like we're uh, writing the best shit we've ever written. So. Hey, what, what, you know, if people follow you on Instagram, what's your Instagram name? Uh, Malco Crew. Malco, yeah, that's the band. Follow them because you're always putting little guitar ditties. And doing little uh, in the studio kind of videos, like you're all about, like you're way better Instagramming than I am. I suck at it. Well, I'm, dude, get, I'm well, getting better at it though. I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to get better at it on Instagram and uh, like, especially for the band. But like, I try to with us going to the studio. I'm trying to show video of like we're having fun, man. Like, it's if you're in the studio with us, you're probably gonna end up on a track with us. That's how. Everybody oh, I'm gonna go, I'm, dude. Fuck you. I'm gonna head to Vacaville tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'll let you next no, studio no, visit, no. and I'm gonna be on it. No, don't don't come tomorrow because we're not going back to the studio until February. <laughs> February. <laughs> come in February, and I can almost guarantee you, you'll end up on a song with us. Everybody else has. That's so. awesome, dude. I do. I, can, I can't wait to hear. I know you. You have these little like clips that you kind of post here and there, but it's not like clips of the actual song. It's like clip. It's the song, but it's like on the computer screen, like not the actual sound, sound, sound. You know what that no, sounds like? Who did? Who? Who's the main? Who's the main promoter? You gotta be the uh, main. You gotta be the main. I know Maddie. Maddie's definitely not the main promoter. That motherfucker. He still hasn't read my messages from like three months ago when I was like, "Hey, I want to get your band on the podcast." It's still unread. By him, like, Jesus no. Christ, you pay attention. <laughs> when you're in a band, pay attention to your social media. <laughs> yeah. If you're serious, you got to. At least have one guy in the band yeah. that does it. You're the one that does that. Yeah, I, I post all the videos, but, you know, like, my band members, they, they give me shit because they're like, why can't you ever just wait? But I never post, like, the finished product. Like, it's not even close. It's like, yeah. it's just a layer. 
you know, it's just a layer of wood. Uh, you should, is, and uh, you should do that because you should keep anticipation. You know what? Right. I agree with you. Right. So you can tell the band to shut their fucking mouths. I agree. <laughs> I got my buddy Tony over here. I got Tony. Uh, <laughs> but but, no. but at the same time, I, I'm one of those guys that gets excited about stuff, and I just want to fucking share it. You know, like right away. It yeah. is important to wait to Me, share things, but on social media, I think you can do it, especially with just layers. I think you're doing a good job of that, of keeping the anticipation uh, growing. And do you still feel like you have a lot of fans from, like, the younger, like, from, like, the, the early 2000s that are, like, really anticipating it? Who knows? Dude, like, I, I we hope people are uh, looking forward to it. Uh, we've, like I said, we feel like it's the best stuff we've ever written. We've really, like, what studio? Oh, for what, us, what, I, what studio are you guys in? We're we're recording at Plus Cavern in Sacramento. Um, COVID has actually been the best thing for us, though, uh, because we've actually had it, it's forced us to write. And if we if COVID wouldn't have happened, we probably would have been playing a bunch of shows, trying to reestablish ourselves. And now it's given us a time to master our craft and try to like. I, I think we're taking our, we've taken our writing to another level, and I think people will see that. Dude, so, I'm excited. Pretty excited. Uh, yeah, dude, I I'm definitely as an old school Malco fan, man. You can only imagine what it's like, you know, having one as when you were a teenager. I don't even know what bands like. But now, so when you were in high school, were there bands playing at Three Oaks, or was that like my high school days? Because you're old. Your high- Cause you're old as fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's all good. No, uh, Three O's was your, uh, that was your high school days. I was, uh, yeah, the, I was four years out of high school when Three O's was a, was a thing, you know, like. So Three so. O's was not a.